Welcome again to Blockbusters, and as we have done quite a lot lately, we start the show by introducing you to new contestants. Two of them this time, by name, Jackie Hayden and Paul Brown. Yeah! Both, both having had some sort of broadcasting experience of one sort or another, which we'll refer to a little later. They come from Elford High School in Buckley, Clwyd, and uh, they are about to shake hands with Darren, who is our champion just to make things all nice and even. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't realise that was going on. Anyway, we're going to start, don't know what they're going to do, we're going to start the first game in a set of three. Talking of games. And uh, end is flashing on the board. Let's play Blockbusters. Right, here we go, everybody. N. What N is the first name of the leader of the Labour Party? Yes, Paul. Neil. It's got to be. Neil, yes, that's right. <laughs> Bit of over-the-top appreciation there, and we go on to the next one. F, please, Bob. You want the F? OK. What F is anything specially good or an expensive seat in... Yes, Jackie? Fabulous. No. <laughs> Darren, what F is anything specially good or an expensive seat in a plane or train? First class. First class, yes, well done. That's one of each colour, and it's Darren's choice. O, please. O, right. What O is a shade of green or a girl's... Yes, Paul? Olive. Yes, you're right. Well done, yes. <laughs> yes, got it at the last moment, and you've got the choice. Mm. G, please. G, right, fine. Just wondering who wears the trousers. Right, what G were ordered to be up and at them by Wellington at Waterloo. Yes, Darren? Guards? Yes, you're absolutely right. It was the guards, yes. Yeah. So that's two of each colour now, and it's your choice. C, please. You want the C. What C means a prisoner, and is a word sometimes... Yes, Paul? Captive. Sometimes applied to an unwilling audience. It is captive. Well done. Yes. Good. Some inspired interruptions coming up. They are chattering again, deciding what to do, and we find they are going to pick a letter which is... E, please, e. Bob. <laughs> Good. Right. What E means to egg on? Yes, Paul. Encourage. Encourage. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Good spanking rate with right answers all the way. wonder if we can keep it up. What next? H, please, Bob. H, right. Here it is. What H is lined with endocardium. Yes, Darren? The heart. The heart, absolutely right. Yes, well done. <laughs> Cardium, cardiac, the heart, he got it, and he's got the choice. P, please. P, right. Carefully studied choice there, and it's this one. What P is a unit of astronomical distance about... Yes, Darren? Parsec. You're right, it is. Well done, yes. <laughs> Out of interest, do you know, do you know what the distance is? 4.71 light years. Well, <laughs> it might be in your terms, mate, but it's 19 <laughs> billion miles to me, OK? Right, we won't argue over it. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> Serves me right for asking, really. OK. You pick the next one. R, please. You want the R, right. OK. And, of course, we know what that means, don't we? Unless Jackie and Paul can stop you, it means blockbusters with this. What R? are the people who seek to return to earlier forms of politics and were called paper tigers by Mao Zedong. A word often used in politics, reactionaries, was the answer. Here's another one, not as long. What R was the Egyptian sun god and a... Yes, Darren? Ra. Is right! Yes, well done! 
Thought he was cheering at first. Well done. Ra got him there, and he's won the first game in the set of three. Jackie and Paul did very well indeed for a first game. It looks on the uh, screens with that little plant in the middle as though you're talking to each other over a hedge, all sort of nicely. <laughs> it's a perfect picture. What is it? That's um, Colin the coffee plant. <laughs> <laughs> Colin the coffee plant. I'm not going to ask any more questions about that plant because I don't know what sort of answers I'll get. I mentioned broadcasting. You want to be a TV journalist, Jackie, yes? Yes, that's right. And, and you have actually done quite a lot for Marcher Sound. And I have... It, yes? Yes, as yes. work experience for the school. Oh, I see. It was part of the school's work. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes, really. Obviously yeah. you did. But what impressed me is you won Book Critic of the Year in 1985. For The Observer, yes, that's right. That's very good. What did, what did you write? What did you, what I did wrote you... a book review. And, um... On what? Can you remember the book? Doesn't matter. Yes, The Changeover. It was, was The it? Changeover, yes. Oh, and, and you got the prize for the year. Oh, that's the very good there. indeed. It was a na national contest, a national wasn't it? National contest, yes. Yeah, well, congratulations. I think she deserves a round of applause for that, don't you? <laughs> Terrific. Well, ha having successfully embarrassed Jackie, what about you, Paul? You, you've done uh, radio quizzes and things and phone-ins, haven't you? Well, I like to phone in every now and then. Yeah, uh, you're Just one of those, are you? Yes. You were one of these guys who gets on and says, I'm a first-time caller. <laughs> <laughs> Except that you're has not. has been known, Bob, yes, yeah. right. Have you won any prizes on the quizzes? Um, one or two. I won a Red Rose Radio jogging suit. Did you, by <laughs> Joe? Wow, <laughs> God, no. And? And I've won some records and I things. Know, That's good fun, isn't it? Done any broadcasting, Darren, of any sort? Uh, not previous to this. Can I, just... I ask you a personal question? After you were seen on the last show, one or two people said, he's not 16 to 18, he's 32 if he's a day. <laughs> it's the beard, isn't it? But yes. assure them that you are, yeah? Right? Yes, I'm in fact 17 at the well, moment. Well, there so. you are. And a mature-looking 17 he is. All right, girls, fine. OK, thanks very much. Right, let's get on with the second game, shall we? K is flashing on the board. Fingers by the buttons. Here we go. What K are small, useless, decorative articles often set out... Yes, Jackie. Knickknacks. Knickknacks. Well done. Yes, good. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what, you can have another one. H, please. H, right. What H had a girlfriend who was drowned and a mother who married his uncle? That's a lovely question. What were you going to say? The Hieropodes. No, no, no. It was simply Hamlet. Yes, they nodded there. They realised too late. Here's another H. What H was a two-wheeled cabriolet for two people with a driver behind? Yes, Darren? Hansom cab. A handsome cab is right. A handsome, yes. <laughs> right, it gives you the lead. Where are you going? T, please. You want T, OK. What T is a dense growth of little trees, shrubs? Yes, Darren? No, sorry. No, it's gone, hasn't it? Jackie and Paul, what tea is a dense, dense growth of little trees, shrubs and undergrowth? Yes, Paul? A thicket. A thicket is right. Yes, well done. Yes. <laughs> Two blues, one white, and you've got the choice for the next one. S, please. S. Oh, see who says it. Right, S. What S is a long-handled tool once used for... Yes, Jackie? Scythe. Oh, once used for mowing hay and cutting corn. You're right, a scythe, yes. Goodness. Yes, you took a chance, it came off, and you've got the choice again. M, please. M, right. What M is a piece of grassland used for making hay? Yes, Jeff, uh, Paul. Mm. Let's give him Darren time to think. I wonder if he's worked it out. What M is a piece of grassland used for making hay? Meadow. It is a meadow, yes, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> now you're going to try and even it up. Two whites up to now. R, please. R. Let's see. What R means in history the period when Charles II returned after Cromwell? Yes, Jackie. Reformation. No, not Reformation. Darren, what R means in history the period when Charles II returned after Cromwell? No, sorry. No. Could take a guess. If you'd said restoration, I would have given it to you. It's the restoration period. Nope. Have an alternative. What R is a short piece of fabric offered at a bargain price? Yes, Paul. Remnants. Remnant is right. Yes, or remnants. Right. <laughs> right, four blues and two whites. You've got the choice again, Jackie and Paul. O, oh, please. You want the O after due consideration? What O is to perform surgery? Yes, Darren. Operate. Of course it is. Operate. Yes, that's another one. Well, we're all over the board. Where are you going next? E, please. E. 
Yes, I see, to join the two whites up. What E are the overhanging edges of a tile or thatch roof? Yes, Paul. Eaves. That's right, it is. Eaves, yes, yes. Good. And another, please. N, please, Bob. She shrugged. She doesn't care what you have. N, right. What N is the English county in the extreme northeast? That's Jackie. Northumberland. You're right, it is. Northumberland. Well done. And after quite a speedy trot across the board, with a lot of spaces taken up, we have a flashing blue light. Are you going to take that challenge? Gee, please. Good. It means you could get this game unless Darren stops you. What G was the holy object sought by... Yes, Darren? The Grail. The Holy Grail, yes. <laughs> yes, sought by King Arthur's knights. It could have been any other holy object, but he honed in on that one. It was right, and you've got the choice again. The F, please. You want the F. Having stopped them successfully, you pick this one. What F is said to be high in a phrase used of machines that reproduce sound? Yes, Paul. Fidelity. Fidelity, it's got to be, yes. And once again, once again, they've got that flashing blue light. They've got a choice this time. Which one? L, L please. <laughs> In unison, it's L. Here we go. What L, everybody, is the type of duck that is a person who... Yes, Paul? Lame. Lame duck is right! Yeah! <laughs> My goodness, what a good game that was. A person who's some way inadequate or ineffectual, he didn't need any of that. He got lame duck... And indeed, it's one game all, which is really, as you probably know, how we like it on the programme. Just to recap, Darren has done a gold run. He's hoping to do his second. He's got £95 and a game. Jackie and Paul have joined us recently. They have £60 and are hoping to do their first gold run. Right, the board is ready. P is flashing. I think we ought to. Yes, let's. Play Blockbusters! <laughs> And why not? Here's the first question. What P is measured by a steam gauge? Yes, Darren. Pressure. Is right. Well done. Good start. <laughs> right, your choice for the next. R, please. You want the R. What R do you beat sometimes hastily when withdrawing from... Yes, Paul? Retreat. Is right again. Yes. Well done. <laughs> OK, yours. C, please. C. What C is a carpenter's or sculptor's tool? Yes, Paul. Chisel. Is right again. Yes. <laughs> Very quickly and promptly and correctly answered, and you go for another. H, please. H, right. Stand by, all three of you. What H married Minnehaha? Paul? Hiawatha. Yes, you've got it. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. K, please. K, right. What K is a hardy form of cabbage with... Yes, Darren? Calabrese. No, it's not. It's not, it's not. What K, and this is for Jackie and Paul, is a hardy form of cabbage with curly leaves? It's good old curly kale. K-A-L-E. Here's another. What K is all of a soldier's gear, which... Yes, Darren? Kit. Is right. Yes! Right, already on the board. We've got three blues and two whites, and it's Darren's choice again. S, please. We want that S right at the top. What S is what wood should be before use in cabinet making? Yes, Paul. Soaked. No. Darren, what S is what wood should be before use in cabinet making? Seasoned. That's the word I wanted, yes. Yes, indeed. And it probably gets soaked in the process. Let's face it, we've got three flashing white lights. We have a space to be taken up, and it's our champion that's going to do the challenge. Which one? You, please. You want the you? Stand by, Jackie and Paul. What you was Hans Anderson's baby swan? Darren? Ugly. Is right, it's an ugly duckling, yes. Ugly duckling it was, and that got him the championship, or rather retained him the cat championship. £115 to our champion and £75 to Jackie and Paul. It's been a most entertaining time. Thank you very much indeed. I had a lot more to ask you. It's, it's a pity. Are you going to, just before you go, either of you actually go in seriously for broadcasting and television? Is it a thing? I know, Jackie, you want to be a journalist, but you, you were going to head for that way. Definitely. What about you, Paul? What are you Hopefully, going to do? Hopefully, yeah. You think so? What would you like to do most of all? 
I'd like to have my own television programme. Would you? <laughs> Doing what? Telling jokes or, or interviewing people? I don't know, really. You don't know? Maybe a pop show. Well, you'll have to come up with an idea or two before you get the job, you realise that. Anyway, the best of luck to both of you. I hope it comes off. You take with you, just in case you'd overlook the fact, the Blockbuster sweatshirt, the leather-bound information store, and, of course, the dictionary as well. And our good wishes. Jackie and Paul, many, many thanks. <laughs> there we go. Away you go, Jackie and Paul. We're sorry to see them go. We'll be meeting two new contestants soon, but first of all, it's a gold run. It's the second for Darren, and that comes up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you then. From its very beginnings, a Tiffany upper crust pie is not like other frozen pies. The greater steak and mushroom, for instance, can be recognized by its distinctive puff pastry. A pastry so full of mushrooms and chunks of steak that when fully grown, it's a good half pound larger than ordinary pies. Its size alone makes it easy prey for hungry humans. But rest assured, the life of the Tiffany upper crust pie may be short, but it's a very happy one. What if? One day, you found yourself alone in a hostile environment, cold and hunted. Would you give in, or would you survive? Could you act like a professional? Week by week, combat and survival will take you inside the world of the professional soldier. Part one is at your newsagent now. Combat and survival. It's a loaded magazine. Futura range. Richly textured wall coverings with a smooth flat back. So easy to put up. So many superb designs. And all for so much less than you'd imagine. Futura luxury wall coverings. From Color Roll, of course. 20% off any Schreiber kitchen. And a hundred pounds down and nothing to pay for three months. Make sure it's Schreiber. See your new kitchen at your local Schreiber center. With base price, your money goes further. And so does your home. Sainsbury's Home Base, the home of base price. Welcome back. And while our champion takes deep breathing exercises in preparation for his gold run, let's meet two new contestants, shall we? Welcome, if you will, Roisa McGrath and Mark Curry. <laughs> Roisa, who henceforth will be known as Ro, that's her own instructions, from the Thomas Peacock School in Rye, down in Sussex, and Mark, Mark Curry, of course, at the same school. Do you live in Rye yourselves? No. Live in the town? Where do you live? If you don't mind telling us. Small, small villages, hovels. <laughs> oh, I see. You live in a hovel. Fine. OK. Great. You too, Mark? Yeah. Guessling. I see. Just outside, yeah. All right. Fine. OK. Meet, officially, Darren. He's our champion. His mind isn't really on shaking. Oh, I see. Oh, we've got a dear me. right oh. I hate to think what comes with the next contestants if he has to meet them, but there you are. Anyway, Darren, you are supposed to be looking at the board, right? And that's what you're doing right now. This is what it says to you, and that's what it's instructing you to do. Move right across there, gold to gold within that magic minute, getting ten pounds for every correct answer, as he well knows, if he doesn't do it. So, Darren, for the second time, will you put yourself on the hot spot, please? <laughs> Once again, good luck, take your time, start on the left, we'll start the clock, and don't forget it's gold to gold in 60 seconds or less. H-A. Warmed Roman villas and raises balloons. Hot air. Yes. F-K. 
Weapon with a blade that springs out when a button is pushed. Flick knife. Yes. MW. Spanner with adjustable jaw. Multi wrench. Not multi. Pass. L I W. Woman who acts as an amanuensis for female royalty. Lady in waiting. Yes. O B. Type of school or a ship going away from home port. Pass. B A B. Same as lock, stock, and barrel, but luggage. Pass. LG. Famous naked equestrian. Lady Godiva. Yes. UA. Not yet old enough to do something. Underage. Yes. PO. What most people think, the views of the majority. Pass. WP. What you are when you know your part faultlessly. Word perfect. Yes. COL. Conifer, normally associated with the Middle East. No, I missed God. Indeed. My goodness. The conifer. Do you think you've got it by this time? Can you think? No. Cedar of Lebanon. It oh. is a cedar of Lebanon. But the one we thought you'd get, I'm sure everybody would agree, was what most people think, the views of the majority, public opinion. Oh. And we get public opinion polls all the time. The school, or the ship going away from port, was outward bound, of course, and the spanner, which is the first one you tripped on, it rather threw you, is a monkey wrench, <laughs> known as the monkey wrench. Never mind, you've got that radio and twin cassette player from the first round, you've got £175 in your pocket, and you could have, have the chance of doing the third in just a short while. That depends on Rowan and Mark. Go back to join them and we'll carry on with the game. Give him another round of applause. <laughs> Dear me. I sometimes feel like leaping down there and whispering in his ear, but it's dead silence here. Everybody was really caught up with that and he didn't make it, but who knows, he may get the chance, as I say, to do it again. Right, Rowan and Mark, all set? That was quite impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. He's set too, so you've got your fingers near the buttons. Everybody's ready to go. I'm looking at the board. It says U is flashing. That's the one with which we start. So once again, let's play Blockbuster. <laughs> right, everybody, here we go. What U is Schubert's best-known symphony? Yes, Darren? Unfinished. Yes, indeed it is. Right, well done. <laughs> so, your choice for the next one. N, please. N, right at the top. Simple choice to join up with that. What N, everybody, is any performance or event that takes place in every evening? Yes, Darren. Nightly. Nightly, it's a simple one, yes, <laughs> nightly. Two whites, and Row and Mark are looking a little concerned, but they've got to move fast on this. What next? L, please. L. What L is Bet, the landlady of the Rover's... Oh, they went for the buttons and Darren got there. Lynch. Lynch is right, yes, well done. Oh dear, oh dear, flashing white light. You two, don't get discouraged, just move fast, okay? Here we go, Darren, which one? A, please. So having the A, mercilessly he picks the A and this is it. What A was what Edward VIII did when he ceased to... Yes, Mark? Abdicated. Right, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Right, when he ceased to be king for the woman he loved. Yes, abdicated indeed, and you get the point. You're on the choice as well. Yes, a little bit of advice from P, Roe. please. P, right. What P is often illegible and is made out by a doctor? Yes, Darren. Prescription. Of course it is. Prescription, yeah. <laughs> right, now where? F, please. You're going for that F. Try and help out down at the bottom there. Stand by all three of you. What F are attractions which are soon to take place? Ah, yes, Darren. Forthcoming. They are indeed forthcoming attractions, yes. <laughs> Pain look on Mark's face at that. And you, you've got a couple of choices here. Which one are you going to take? B, please. You're going to take that B to try and make blockbusters, and Rowan and Mark are going to try and stop you. Right. What B was the site of the 1986 TUC conference? Yes, Mark. Brighton. You're right, it was, yes, right. <laughs> We've had that sort of question before and it's never quite sure whether it's Bournemouth, Blackpool or Brighton. Brighton was right, you've got the choice, and it's what? G, please, Bob. G, OK, right over on the right-hand side. What G is repeated to make a double word meaning ostentatiously virtuous in a weak, sentimental way? A lovely question. Goody, goody. <laughs> Goody was what I wanted, but I didn't get it, so let's have another. What G 
is a concern that is a business in... Yes, Darren? Going. Going concern. Yes, well done. <laughs> right, where next, we ask? Ah, please. Ah. Oh, yes, of course. Right, it's your other choice down there, and it could be blockbusters again. Rowan Marks, step in if you can. What R is the bottom that is absolutely the bottom? Yes, Darren? Rock. It's rock! Rock bottom! Yes! <laughs> well, goodness gracious me, there we are. And uh, first gain to Darren. Yes, it means that Rowan Mark have got to really move fast for the next one, doesn't it? Um, you are a bit noisy when you feel strongly about things, Ro. What do you feel strongly about? It says noisy here. You may not have said that. What do you feel strongly about? Have you got strong views on anything at all? Politics? Schoolwork? Um... He's nodding. Mark, you tell us. <laughs> Absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What about him? Does he get noisy when he's got views on things? He's noisy all the time. Is he? I see. Great. You have a great relationship <laughs> going there, yes. You want to start up your own ice cream company, or you did, Mark? <laughs> Yes, um, I did summer of 84 when it rained all the time. <laughs> the wettest summer for about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Born loser, you think, in that respect. Yeah. <clears throat> do, do, have you got a particular affection for ice cream? Is there something you want to do? Not anymore. No, no, I can Not understand anymore, that. Yeah. Right. I think instead you'd prefer to get on with the second game, wouldn't you, Darren? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Well, there's no doubt about that. Darren prefers to get on with the second game in the set of three. Just to recap, it's £210 plays £10. Ro and Mark have 10. Darren has 210. He's already won one gold run. He's got a cross on another, and he's going for his third. They're going for their first, right at the beginning of the next edition of Blockbusters. Do join us then. It should be a good contest. We look forward to the pleasure of your company. Goodbye for now.